I'm Laura for the Three Weeks Podcast and I've got Vicky Stone here with me. Um, so tell us a little bit about your acts that you've got on at the Edinburgh Fringe. Um, I've, got a, I've got a show on at 11 o'clock at the Gilded Balloon. Um, it's a musical comedy show, uh, but I've got a band with me as well. Oh. So it's quite, a, it's quite a kind of rocking show. Um, it's a bit naughty. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, you know, th- there's been a few kind of sort of distraught I suppose is the right word faces in the audience and I enjoy that just as much as the ones that are really enjoying it I really love to look out and find the ones that really aren't as well <laughs> have you That's... had any people walking out in distress um no actually uh, I think the British tend to be quite polite and will go I'm clearly not enjoying this but I'll sit through it yeah. I will endure it uh, which, which uh, I think is you know testament to uh, Edinburgh audiences um, you're, you're one of the few acts that has a, a love song uh, about Jurassic Park. I do have a love song about Jurassic Park. I'm pretty obsessed uh, with Jurassic Park. Um, it's, it, obviously, it's a classic film. Uh, great. It's the first one, not, not the other. Oh, God, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean who's seen the, what, the Lost World? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody, no. Jurassic Park 1, um, fabulous, great score. Uh, and have, yeah, I've got a song that sort of that melds that and other John Williams themes together. This stuff and an ode to Banksy as well. Uh, that was in the first draft of the uh, Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, that's not in the show anymore. Oh, that's been uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the the show changed. But I did. You did used to have a song about Banksy. Actually, about my mum being Banksy. Um, right. But <laughs> I have in in this show uh, that's had a bit of a, quite a lot of attention is a song that I have about Philip Schofield. Oh, okay. A, a positive song or a negative? Yeah, uh-huh. definitely a positive song. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. But, but, but a bit of an obsession song about Philip Schofield. Ah. And a lot of my reviews have mentioned Philip Schofield. And so clearly he's got wind of the song. Yeah. And so I got a really nice review from Kate Copstick in The Scotsman. And uh, Philip Schofield read it and then tweeted ah. the review saying, I'm loving Vicky Stone with a little smiley face. Obviously, Aww. I've memorised the tweet. Um, and, you know, it was amazing. Loads of people suddenly sort of... Well, the very next day after the tweet, there was a lot of kind of over 75s bit <laughs> shocked. I mean, it was full, so buying tickets, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, have you had a good reaction from audiences then? I have, I've had a really, I mean, it's a late show, it's an 11 o'clock show, so whilst there is a bit of risk game material, uh, it feels like it's the right time, not sort of at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> singing about dildos, that would be inappropriate, <laughs> but it's fine at 11. Um, it, but it's not just about that, it's also about my life. I mean, I've, I've sort of, about sort of showbiz really I mean I've been in the business for virtually my, my entire adult life mm. and started working professionally at about 14, 15 um, and so unfortunately still not particularly successful and uh, have been in things like Yakult adverts and Tenelady adverts oh. uh, Fiat adverts basically adverts <laughs> Uh, You've won a few awards, though. I have, yeah. I won the Soho Theatre One Night Stand Up Award, sponsored by Durex. (laughs) So uh, I am a Durex Award winner, which is always nice. Uh, I got a £250 Durex hamper as my prize. Lovely. Which was nice, basically 400 condoms, 16 bottles of lube, and a vibrating cock ring. So that's nice to be a, to be a winner in, in, in many ways. Mm. My mum is so proud, I'm really sure, proud. Yeah. So is this your first Edinburgh Fringe? Show? It is. It's my you know debut comedy oh, show. Wonderful. How have you been finding it then? I've been finding I've been finding it good. I mean, it's hard work in terms of like all the other stuff. Like the show's tiring enough, but all the other stuff you have to do, like promotional shows and bill shows and and that kind of stuff. And so it's been a real kind of uh, it's been really good stamina wise. Sort of no. You know, if you're really successful, it's a taste of what it actually would be like on a day-to-day basis, and I don't think I'd want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine for the month. We were yeah, saying, just a month. But if it was your life, yeah. I think I'd weep. Um, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you think you'll come back again then? Oh, definitely, definitely. I'm already, sort of, at the beginning of this week, uh, my director's been up here the whole time, and at the beginning of this week, we've already been starting to talk about what a second show might include, mm. um, which I think is already quite exciting. Um, yeah. Oh, good. So, oh, have you managed to catch any shows once you've been up here? Yeah, um, I've, I've been trying to watch as many friends as possible. Um, I think so, some ones I really enjoyed was a guy called David Morgan, who does a show called Triple Threat. Anyone that okay. likes musical theatre and gays will like him. Um, <laughs> um, I saw uh, Paul McCaffrey. He's got a really nice kind of classic stand-up show uh, at the Underbelly. Um, 
I'm trying to think about who else. I've seen loads of stuff. Oh, it's fine. It's just your show. We'll, oh, just my show. We'll focus yeah. on that one. It's fine. I'm trying to plug a few mates. Yeah. That's all I can remember. <laughs> well, um, yeah, if you'd just like to remind everyone um, where it's on and uh, what time. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock at the Gilded Balloon, and we only run till Sunday. So the Gilded Balloon does uh, run till Monday, but... Um, we, we, I've had enough. No, <laughs> okay, I just enough. I, I couldn't possibly. Um, so yeah, so we're we're there till Sunday night. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much.